Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So for dinner tonight, we are having crispy chicken strip salad. So I'm using some lettuce from Aldi, and I am also using this um, mild white cheddar. Um, cheese from Aldi. We are using these chicken strips that I had in my freezer from Tyson. I just popped them in the air fryer. I also have some boiled eggs. You can see right there, I've got some boiled eggs that I chopped up. And then um, I also have some green onion in there, but you probably can't see that. Howard is going to use this creamy, um, this ranch bacon and then I am going to use this creamy Caesar dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making the easiest casserole known to man. It is hamburger casserole. So in my skillet here, I have um, one pound of ground beef that I seasoned and drained the fat from. And to my skillet, I am adding two cans of tomato soup. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. And that is my oven preheating. So um, adding my tomato sauce. And what I use to season my ground beef is this McCormick's Flavor Cube, Cubes, actually. So my mom sent me these. I'd never seen them before, but I think the store that she went to, they were clearancing them out. So they have Italian, they have Cajun, they have Thai, and they have Mexican. And so one cube is supposed to season a whole pound of meat. And it can be ground beef, ground turkey, it can also be like chicken, whatever. Um, but one little cube seasons a whole pound, and it actually did season this pound of meat. So I use that. And I also have some pasta that I made, drained and set aside. I didn't rinse it or anything, and I actually cooked it al dente because this casserole is going into the oven. The pasta that I used is this pasta that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. You're supposed to use any medium pasta. So let me give my sauce a stir here. And add in my pasta. And you can add additional seasonings if you want, just according to the taste of your family. Now I will say um, with this recipe, I followed it exactly. The only thing that I did not do was add a pound of pasta because it's just Howard and I eating and a pound of pasta is just too much for us. So I just added um, half a pound of pasta and everything else I followed exactly. Half a pound of pasta is plenty for us. All right, so I have my casserole dish here and I am just going to pour the pasta into it. and spread it around. And I have two different types of cheese here. I know there's a little glare. I have two different types of cheese here. I have a cheddar and mozzarella, and I am just going to sprinkle this on top. Now I did double the cheese that the recipe calls for because Howard and I really like cheese. So I always tend to put more cheese than a recipe calls for. And also, if you don't wanna use two different types of cheese, if you just have one type of cheese that you wanna use, that's fine. And you're just gonna sprinkle your cheese all over the casserole.
All right, so I am just going to cover this with foil, bake it for 20 minutes, uncover it, and bake it for an additional 10 minutes. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So here is the casserole. I baked it for 30 minutes total. You can see all the cheesy goodness here. And then with it, I am just serving it with um, some garlic bread. This is from Tom Thumb. I've talked about it many, many times. It is their uh, brand of garlic bread. I already threw the box away a while back ago. And then we had some lettuce in the fridge that was gonna go bad. So um, we're just gonna have a really simple salad. And um, Howard likes this salad dressing. And I like this one. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some stuff from our freezer. So we are having this chicken lo mein from Aldi. I used to buy this all the time and then I stopped and I recently bought it again. So um, here it is on the plate. And um, in order to bulk it up a little bit, I added some fresh mushrooms. So I just sauteed some fresh mushrooms and then I added in the contents of the um, package. And it's a really quick skillet meal, like 12 minutes. And then we are also having some chicken pot stickers and those are from Trader Joe's, here they are. And I just pan fried them. And then we had some fresh cabbage in the fridge that I needed to use up. And normally I make fried cabbage with a lot of bacon and so forth, but I am trying to eat a little bit healthier. So I used less bacon, which is why it doesn't have the color that it normally has. And I used olive oil and, you know, to substitute for the bacon fat. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it is Christmas Eve and I decided to make Christmas Eve dinner instead of Christmas Day dinner. I just wanted to be able to relax on Christmas Day. So we are having chicken and dressing casserole and sweet potato souffle and green beans. Now the sweet potato souffle and the chicken and dressing casserole, I have made videos on um, on those before and I will make sure to link them in the description box and I also made a sweet potato pie as well and I did record a video on my sweet potato pies and I will link that in the description box as well so this is what we are having for dinner tonight hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas hey guys so for dinner tonight I am using up some stuff from our freezer and pantry in my freezer, I had these three pepper hot and spicy chicken wings. They are from Kroger. I honestly cannot remember if I have made these before or not, but I did cook them in my air fryer. Howard and I tried them and his heat tolerance is a lot higher than mine is. And so out of a scale, uh, on a scale of one, from one to 10, I would probably rank the spiciness of these wings at about a nine and he gave them a seven. So that tells you how spicy these wings are. Uh, these wings, um, again, are the three pepper wings and they have jalapeno, habanero, and serrano. So they are very, very spicy. And then with it, we are just having some macaroni and cheese, box macaroni and cheese. Again, this is from my pantry. It is from HEB, which is a grocery store that is here in Texas. So no veggies tonight, didn't feel like making them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.